Today we are going to question the Big Bang Theory, the most widely accepted explanation for the origin of the universe. But what if the Big Bang was not the beginning, but just one of many cycles of creation and destruction? What if the universe is eternal and infinite, and we are just a tiny part of a bigger picture? You are watching Luminary Cosmos. Watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe Luminary Cosmos. Let's begin. The Big Bang Theory is based on the observation that the universe is expanding and cooling down. For extrapolating backwards, scientists have calculated the universe started from a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, about 13.8 billion years ago. This singularity exploded in a massive burst of energy and matter, creating the atoms, stars and galaxies we see today. This is the story we have been told and it is supported by a lot of evidence, such as the cosmic microwave background radiation, the abundance of light elements, and the large-scale structure of the universe. But, the Big Bang Theory is not without problems. For one thing, it does not explain what caused the singularity, or what happened before it. It also does not account for some of the features of the universe, such as its flatness, homogeneity, and isotropy. These features imply that the universe underwent a period of rapid inflation, a brief but exponential expansion, shortly after the Big Bang. But what caused inflation and how did it end? And what about the dark matter and dark energy, the mysterious components that make up most of the universe but are invisible to our instruments? These questions have led some physicists to propose alternative models of the universe such as string theory and the e-periodic universe. String theory is a framework that tries to unify all the forces and particles of nature, assuming that they are vibrations of tiny strings in a higher dimensional space. The e-periodic universe is a scenario that suggests that our universe is one of many bubbles in a larger multiverse, each with different physical laws and constants. These models are mathematically elegant, but they are also very speculative and difficult to test. Another alternative model is the cyclic cosmology proposed by Roger Penrose, a Nobel Prize winning physicist. Penrose argues that the universe goes through cycles of expansion and contraction, each lasting trillions of years. He calls these cycles eons, and he claims that we are living in the current eon, which started with the Big Bang. But the Big Bang was not the first, nor will it be the last. According to Penrose, the universe will eventually reach a state of maximum entropy, where everything is evenly distributed and no work can be done. This state, called the Big Chill, will mark the end of our eon, but it will also the beginning of next one. As the universe will undergo a phase transition and start a new cycle of expansion and contraction. How is this possible? Penrose explains that the Big Chill is equivalent to the singularity because both states have no structure or information. Therefore, they are indistinguishable from each other. And the universe can transition from one to the other without violating any physical laws. In other words, the end is the beginning, and the beginning is the end. But how can we test this idea? Penrose suggests that there might be traces of the previous ions in the cosmic microwave background radiation, the relic of the Big Bang. He claims that there might be circular patterns in the radiation called Hawking points that indicate the locations of black holes that have operated in the previous eon. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. But according to Stephen Hawking, another Nobel Prize winning physicist, black holes can emit radiations and lose mass over time. This process, called Hawking radiation, would eventually cause black holes to disappear, leaving behind a burst of energy. Penrose believes that this energy could survive the transition from one eon to the next and appear as anomalies in the cosmic microwave background radiation. Penrose and his collaborators have claimed to find evidence of these Hawking points, but their results are controversial and disputed by other scientists. They argue that the patterns are not statistically significant 
and that they could be explained by other sources of noise or distortion. Moreover, they point out that Penrose's theories does not agree with the standard model of cosmology, which is based on the inflationary scenario and the dark matter and dark energy components. They say that Penrose's theory is too simplistic and ad hoc, and that it does not account for all the observation and the data. So who is right? Is the universe cyclic or not? Is the Big Bang the beginning or not? These are some of the biggest questions in physics and cosmology, and they have profound implications for our understanding of reality and our place in the cosmos. To answer them, we need more evidence and more experiments, and we need to keep an open mind and a critical eye. We also need to be humble and realize that we might never know the ultimate truth or that there might not be one. So viewers, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about the cyclic cosmology and the Big Bang Theory. So see you next time.